Buckeyes of Ohio State are an offensive machine. Led by quarterback Joe Germain, they average 37 points a game. Michael Wiley rushes for better than six yards a carry. David Boston has caught 14 TD passes. But no team can spoil a party like the Aggies of Texas A&M. Ask Kansas State. Tonight, the Wrecking Crew hopes to upset the Buckeye juggernaut at the Nokia Sugar Bowl. You are looking live at the Superdome in New Orleans, Louisiana. The Nokia Sugar Bowl tonight matches Ohio State of the Big Ten against Texas A&M champions of the Big 12. Now unbeaten after Wisconsin comes through in the Rose Bowl. So the Buckeyes hope to make it a sweep. Kenyon Rambo coming out from a yard deep. Ten yard line swings left stumbles his way to the 25 yard line. Um, you know, we feel that we got great talent out there at the skill position so I think we'd be foolish not to try to take advantage of that. First play to Wiley on the swing, and they will attack the edge. Now let's take a look at our Nokia starting lineups. Michael Wiley swinging out. Matt Keller, he's the starting fullback for the Bucks tonight. And here is where they are ever so dangerous with Boston and D. Miller. They've also got Kenyon Rambo out there and John Lumpkin, a good tight end, behind an offensive line that has started every game this season. Joe Montgomery checks in as a running back. Jermaine goes downfield high for Miller and they play a 3-4 for coordinator Mike Hankwitz. There's the three down men, but here is where the Aggies come and get you. Now that win is a legend, but Bradley and Holdman are the two names you want to remember tonight. 40 and 43. They will come off the edge on this carpet and here is where Ohio State must hold the fort against the Aggies. Third down and five. Look at the defensive front that Hankwitz orders up. His linebacker step to it. Jermaine can't find anybody open and down in a heap and it's three and out for the Bucks. Safety, Chris Taylor who's extremely fast. Back with Jason Webster, one of the starting corners. This is Taylor signaling for the fair catch and he makes it at the 41 yard line. Kind of takes some of that pressure off of getting the first touchdown. Here's the Aggies first play also a pass on a quick slant fumble put on down he is down Al Forge your referee noticed that everyone else on the Aggies had the socks down and thus they are forced to call a timeout and so Donnie Brunson cuts back sharply goes back the other way still breaks free and crosses the 30 and he gets it back to the 27 yard line Derek Spiller and Dan Campbell check in a little double tight end. So a power look, play fake, Brandon Stewart wide open on the far side is Taylor on the march behind Brandon Stewart. We will see Sir Parker, the hero against K-State. Jamar Toombs, a powerful fullback. There's your double tight end look and Chris Taylor, your receiver, against an offensive line that had one injury question, but Andy Benson is playing so far tonight. Sir Parker, great receiver, in at tailback. Second down and four now. He's the fastest man on the Aggie squad. Cuts back beautifully to daylight and hits the hole. Underdog, as we call it. And I'm here to tell you, Ohio State with its hands full here tonight. That is Toombs, who was recruited unsuccessfully by Ohio State. Defensive lineup. Here's your front four. Under fire already in this game. Three linebackers. We talk a lot, of course, about the big cat. But, folks, number 32. Niall Diggs is a star in the making. There is a good secondary, and they too are rocking right now on their heels. Second down and four. Dante Hall, the quick one, back in at tail for Texas A&M. Coming again. Sprints past the five, going for the end zone. Touchdown, Texas A&M. A nine-yard burst by Dante Hall. Buckeyes better strap it up real tight, folks. This one's going to be tough. On for the extra point. Leckler, the punter, puts it down on a beautiful snap. And it's 7-0. And it was Dante Hall, after drawing the timeout, who got this drive rolling with his early run. 
six plays, 59 yards. The Aggies take it home in two minutes and 26 seconds. And at the Nokia Sugar Bowl, Texas A&M strikes first. Who are packed inside the Louisiana Superdome. Now Shane Alekla, the punter, puts it down on a hop field by Jonathan Wells, number 28 for the Buckeyes. He got an alley and he cuts back. Michael Wiley and penalty flags. Put down there apparently. Movement for the offense, five yards. Two first down. It's Kenyon Rambo. And as an extra receiver, Jermaine looks one way, cut off beautifully, and knocked away defensively. Reggie Germany, it's a four. Wide receiver look for the Buckeyes on this one. Jermaine pump fake, receiver covered, gonna come far down that other sideline. Germany incomplete. Fed third and 15, lumped in the tight end, trying to run down the hole. Jermaine comes back to the other side. D. Miller wide open against the zone. First down. That opens up the uh, middle of the field for Lumpkin as well. You see if they come back with Wiley. They do. Sprints to the right side and rushed for eight yards. 1940. Wisniewski, the other tight end, is an H-back in motion. Here's Wiley, slips a tackle, picks up the first down inside the 35 to Boston, which won the game for the Bucks and Jermaine earned MVP. Now he's back, fires wide open. There is Boston on cue. Nice setup then from the 18-yard line. Here's Jermaine on a deep drop. Goes toward Mill, one-handed out of bounds. Out of the back of the end zone. Every game together as a unit for the Bucks. Lumpkin now the H-man. Jermaine stands tall. Touchdown, Germany! Penalty flag thrown by the line judge on the near side. Holding the defense. So Reggie Germany, the sophomore, plays 219, and Dan Stoltz adds the extra point, and we are deadlocked at the Nokia Sugar Bowl. Watch Reggie Germany. A sophomore, a bright future. Cuts quickly to the post. Beats the corner easily, and we're tied. Time out. Can only recruit it. Stoltz hangs it high. And here is Sir Parker coming out from the four-yard line for the Aggies. Swarmed all over. First down now, the Aggies. 81 yards away, Brandon Stewart roll, and wide open is Spiller, one of his two tight ends. Buckeye fans are concerned, nothing bigger than that. Dante Hall, second and two, gets the call. Here he is on a cutback, and very quickly. Short drop, fired high, and incomplete. Bumgarner, who made that great catch against Kansas State. Rather heavily taped, and Coach Cooper thought he might be giving that part of the game off, but it was not to be. A fair catch is signaled for by David, sure-handed. And this was the issue with John Cooper. Little change at the line. Matt Keller tells the running back, and here comes Wiley on a quick cut inside the linebacker beautifully. But never complained. He just went back and kept doing his job and made him a better quarterback this year. Here comes Wiley again, breaking off that first hit. And cruising toward another tip off to a strong start. Hankwitz was a linebacker for Bo Schembechler. You always stop the run first with Ohio State. But here, no, because of this. In the pocket, standing tall. And here is Boston. And that one will be marked first down. As Jermaine calls out of it, Cody was going to back away, but he doesn't. He stays up tight. Pass play to Boston, but they pick up five yards. Listen to Keith and Bob. Turn on the computer, dial up ESPN, and you get some extra stats as the game unfolds. And Montgomery breaks free. Ten-yard line. First and goal. Buckeyes. Here comes Montgomery again. Pounding. Wouldn't be stopped. Touchdown. Ohio State leads for the first time on a ten-yard boot. Brings a great dimension to this Ohio State team, having a backup with that sort of talent and ability. And desire. This is Joe Montgomery's last game as a Buckeye. It's 241. The Buckeyes have thrown for a touchdown. They have run for their second score. And just like that, they strike back and take a lead here at the Nokia Sugar Bowl. And remember, this is a team that wants to make a statement to voters everywhere. That game is low scoring and flat, and there's a fluke. The Buckeyes want to at least present their case. And now it is Sir Parker for Texas A&M. Down to the 19-yard line. 
and you got a feel for youngsters like that. They don't get a chance to play out their career because he lost another season with a knee injury. Brandon Stewart, diving reception. At, let's see if they call Parker's number. Yes, he's going in motion. Coming out as the tailback. The safety more picks him up. The one twos, sort of a one-back look. Now he slips out as a receiver. This time, a corner picks him up. And they look in that direction. Parker's got it on the slant. Short of the first down as Barry, the safety. Just like that, the Buckeyes with their third touchdown of the game. Kevin Griffin, the captain of the special teams, scoops it up and dashes in for the score. Stoltz adds his third extra point of the opening quarter. Till they lost to Michigan State. Offense, defense, and now special teams. Making a pretty good argument, aren't they, folks? Got one in the Mission game and partially blocked one in the Michigan State game. Goodness, he swallowed this one. Man, almost intercepted it off the foot. Sir Parker. Syracuse. Brad Clark, 28 yards against LSU. That was the last time back in the 60s. Here on the pitch play out of Dante Hall. Cuts through Plummer with Brandon Stewart. Trying to quarterback still another comeback, and this time fractured his collarbone against Texas. He engineered the great upset of Kansas State. Now it's all uphill again. A little low. <laughs> I don't full. think nine receptions compares well <laughs> with anybody. Brandon Stewart to Dante on a screen. The running back does it, but he is well short. No team in this decade has recruited any better than Ohio State and John Cooper. Terry Gross came out of Rock Hill, South Carolina. He delivers again. Third down and eight for Brandon Stewart and Texas A&M. Down 21-7 as we start the second quarter. I believe there was movement on for Ohio State. Ball snap, movement for the offense. Five yards, silver down. Going to play you real tough. All right, you got the Thorpe winner and Antoine Winfield. Third down and 13. Brandon Stewart sprints to the right. On the move, receiver covered, so he takes off. And he's out of bounds. Sends this one high toward Boston. Here is the fair catch and the sure-handed one. They have shut down the Aggies, so it'll be Jermaine coming back with Michael Wiley behind Martin. Great time. Down the middle, deep double coverage and incomplete. Jermaine time. That has done a wonderful job so far. Here comes Wiley, daylight left side. And he barrels to the 44, 50 yards. Wiley adding a couple more. Second down and eight. Wiley goes out as a wide receiver. Good hands. Jermaine fires middle. Boston deflected away. Here's Jermaine, under fire, Miller overthrew him, and Brent Bartholomew putting in his last game, and he was under fire. Got off a of beauty, and uh, Taylor going to let it bounce. Takes a big hop for the Bucks, and uh, they'll down it there at the 16-yard line. Getting the ball off, and Dante Hall with that quick cut of his, and the Buckeyes pursuing to Sir Parker. Checks in. And again, toward that short side, the boundary side of the field, with Stewart looking in his direction. They throw it to him on a quick screen for a first down. But that's a pretty good number, folks. Here's now the toss to Dante. And the Bucks hanging on. And on a second and six here for the Aggies. Rolling, hits Spiller, well short of the first down. Third down and five, and you saw Parker slip out again. Got him on the same play as a minute ago, but well short of the first down. Beautiful high punt. There's the fair catch at the 16-yard line. Here's Montgomery, who already scored 
30, 40, and written out near midfield. It'll be Montgomery again behind Keller, looking for an alley, and he breaks through. 202 total yards, averaging 500 a game, and Jermaine slips it into Wiley's hands. First down, Ohio State, out of bounds. That, uh, that bad taste in his mouth might have been his own blood. Play fake, Jermaine, flushed out, now in trouble. Good footwork on this by Joe Jermaine. Those five starters have gone together all season. Given Jermaine great time, Boston knocked away at the last instant. He's third down and two. We've got eight and a half minutes here in the first half. It's 21-7 Ohio State. Back with Wiley. Wiley stops. Fourth down and a yard, and the Bucks say up by two scores. We'll go. Wiley with a chance swallowed. Texas A&M holds and takes over as Cornelius Anthony. John Saunders and Todd Blackledge will have all the exciting details of what went on earlier today, and there was a whole lot to tell you about. Brandon Stewart coming down the near side, bumping with Sir Parker, second and ten. But they're facing a major league defensive backfield here today. Dante Hall quickly through, squirts. Here's third and six. This is a tough conversion against this defense. Diggs and Rudzinski, Barry all come. Jail break time, and Stewart is down at the 25, the first sack. Earlier, Kevin, the nephew of the great Archie Griffin, and they were coming again. Boston going to let this one bounce. And it takes an Aggie roll to the 23. It was rated 28th in the country, and that tells you a little bit about the Big Ten, but not anymore. Now Jermaine hits Boston for a first down. He's just being in position to throw good passes. Here's Wiley. Breaks free, and now Ohio State. Defenses that are being played as well. 446, and Wiley steps for the first down. Now Jermaine with Wiley going in motion toward... The right side of the quarterback checks covered down middle overthrows Lumpkin. Throw every pass, and I was really impressed with his mobility and his ball handling. Here's the long handoff to Montgomery, who's back in the game. Well, I like any coach that will kick you out of practice, and that's what Bowden did before that. Florida game. Jermaine Boston, no. Hangs it high, trying to down it inside the 20. Kicks out of bounds, and it's not bad. That ball's going to be marked at about the 13-yard line. A bank manager at that. <laughs> Here's the toss down to Dante Hall from Brandon, and great hit by Damon Moore. He and Barry basically too deep now at the two-and-a-half-minute mark, and they run twos right at him. Two tight ends, power formation. Tunes at the tailback spot, powers right straight into the heart. How Mummy and Kentucky gambled today, and Penn State made a pay. Leckler against Heat gets it off, and here's the fair catch from Boston, and clearly the coaches have told him. Hey guys. All right, first down and 10. Here's Jermaine. Drops it off to Keller, the fullback, who stops the clock out of bounds. Don't forget he's a senior next year. Second down with Jermaine pulling out. Throws caught by Germany, who caught. Clock ticking. Jermaine incomplete bobbled by Kenyon Rambo. He scored a touchdown, remember, on the block punt. He's off to the short side. They're going to flare Wiley. And Wiley breaks free to the 15. Jermaine on a quick count by the jersey. Fumble! And the Bucks. If your guy hits the quarterback, you better recover his fumble. On second down, and it's knocked away, and a penalty flag, and drew the flag. Highest interference, first down, the spot of the foul. But it is an automatic first down for the Bucks at the 15-yard line, and here's Wiley on a draw play. Jermaine, look at end zone, deflected incomplete, and under pressure, steps away, fires, incomplete, but the clock stops. 31-yard field goal attempt for Dan. 12-22 on the season. 
send this one right down the heart of Bourbon Street. 24 unanswered points for the Buckeyes. Let's check in on what's ahead of us at halftime. And with Tony Bornhardt of the Atlanta Constitution said in an informal poll in Tempe, the voters would vote Florida State number one if they win that game Monday night. We shall see, Sir Parker. Here's Brandon Stewart. Deep down, Cole, and knocked away by Winfield. Replaces him on the corner. Here's your final four seconds. Here's your last play in the first half, right down the middle in the hole. But that'll do it, 24-7. The Aggies strike first, but then the Buckeyes come back with 24 unanswered points. John and Todd will be coming up in a moment. Stoltz with the ball on the tee. The Aggies to handle it first here in the second half. Sir Parker does not take an E. Comes barreling out, and he's well short of the 10-yard line. And a pair of tight ends for the Aggies to open the second half. Play fake. Near side, incomplete. Dante Hall to the middle, and nothing doing it. And the Aggies show a shotgun to Stewart. The left tackle moved. But Before the ball was snapped, movement by the offense. Half the distance, still third down. They need 14 yards. Coming out from their own end zone on this third down. Got one on one, got Taylor up high, juggle, and makes a great grab. What a catch by Taylor over Ahmad Plummer. So the third down play, bails out the Aggies, and they'll fling it on first. Knocked away, incomplete. And fresh rushman. Stewart, and Taylor drops one. Eight third and ten. Dropped again, two from Leckler. Pressure, you can see it collapsing all around him. Third catch at the 31, and coming into the Nokia Sugar Bowl. The Buckeyes, the last of the Big Ten teams playing. Joe Germain, deep drop, lots of time, all day. Lumpkin, his first catch, and forced out of bounds. Second down and one. Wisniewski, the H-back, helping with the blocking. Wiley for the first down. And Andy made a big play, and Wiley dashes across midfield. And John would have been back in Tempe. He once coached Arizona State. They would be playing on Monday night if they had beaten Michigan State. Up front for the Bucks. They have started and played together every game this year. Jermaine, deep back, fires Boston complete. No, I think he will go. I think he's a big-time first-rounder. He and Peter Warwick will be a watch Monday night with Florida State. Toss one juggled by Wiley, and he is out of bounds. Now Cody's backing off. Penalty flag is thrown. Before the ball was snapped, 25-second clock expired. Five-yard penalty, still third down. Five defensive backs. Michael Jamison checks in for the Aggies. Middle, Boston, dive, incomplete. Offense, I believe, was, if I was reading lips, as offensive pass interference. Dan Stoltz already made his 31-yarder. Pulled it to the left. Misfired. And the ball will come out to the line of scrimmage. There's those Aggies again. We'll be right back. First and ten now for the Aggies and Brandon Stewart. On the blitz, it's Dante Hall. Slips a tackle. Personal foul. Defense, 15-yard penalty added on the end. Stewart back there in that shotgun again. Underneath to Dante Hall. That would be with Derek Spiller having returned from his injury problem. Catches the ball and Barry drills him out of bounds again. And they got him off to the quarterback's right. He looks middle too high, intercepted, bad throw. Damon Moore picks it off. 35, Damon on a cutback. We've got a penalty flag down. 
Pass interference on the defense to be 15 yards from the previous spot plus the first down. First and 10 at the 36. Remember that play if the Aggies mount a comeback here. Inside handoff, twos running free. Pounds through a couple of tacklers. Offside defense, the penalty is declined. Second down. Campbell is the tight end to the quarterback's right. And Toombs pounds to the middle for a first down. First down. Stewart rolls hard, left fires incomplete underneath Campbell, the tight end. Second down and 10. Here's Rudzinski coming and down with the second sack of the game. Here's third down. Incomplete. And Spiller draws the flag again. Holding on the defense. 10-yard penalty plus an automatic first down. Now Dante Hall is the lone Aggie running back. The call and smothered by Diggs. Niall Diggs. The Aggies trailing the Buckeyes. Using Hodge toward the line of scrimmage. Throwback and now the fullback rumble, rumble, rumble and tunes out of bounds. Dante Hall is right behind Tunes, the ball carrier. Stewart got Hodge. Hodge in zone. Aggies touchdown. Beautifully crafted play. Here they come again, folks. And hitting them with a great pass. And Bynum responds with an extra point. 5.24 to go in the third. And the Aggies doing what they usually do, rallying timeout. So Wells and Rambo are back deep for Leckler, who hangs it high but short. And Rambo steps up to the 12-yard line, looks left, and he's down at the 22-yard line. After the play was over, personal foul on the return team. He's half the distance to go line. First Play fake. Jermaine snaps it off. Boston short of the first down. That's Jay Brooks, a redshirt freshman who comes over to the corner. And right away, Jermaine will test him high. Boston. And as far as the concussion, they said you can go back in. Second and four, and Montgomery. Montgomery will pound for it, and nothing doing. Down win hitting first Montgomery still going came all the way around to the other side Bartholomew booms one and Taylor makes a fair catch inside the 15 yard line Stewart with the pocket collapsing throws it to Hodge complete left side defensively for the Bucks. Inside handoff, and here's Toombs rumbling to the 41-yard line from three wide receivers, including Bumgardner and Dante Hall, the lone running back. Bumgardner, and he hangs on. Stewart, pressure from Rudzinski. Got Campbell. Campbell to the 32-yard line on the blitz. Brinkley is the motion man. Play fake. Stewart in trouble. Has to throw it out. Incomplete. Taylor is outside of him. Brandon Stewart. Short drop. Fires. Bumgarner knocked away beautifully by Plummer. Here's a third down and 10. Down by 10 points. Stewart. Incomplete. Before the ball was snapped, movement by the offensive line. Five yards, still third down. And a defensive line that is not giving Stewart a whole lot of time back there. Play action and hit and down. Hit by the big cat, rolling in. Moyer, Leckler punting, Boston back deep. He hangs one high. 
inside the 20, but the Aggies cannot get to it. Coming out on the 20-yard line, six seconds. That's all that's left of the third quarter. Jermaine Middle goes deep. Cody can't get to it. And it is second down and 10, and we come to the end of the third quarter. So the big cat, he's been under the microscope for three years. Now he steps up with a huge sack. Back after this message and a word from our ABC stations. And Joe Germain, what a week he has had here in New Orleans, both personally and now professionally. On second and 10, throws the flare to Wiley, and he is out of bounds, you see. Stack the box, but Jermaine throws it out to Boston for the first down. He ran over to me and said, hey, try and throw this. And he got down on his knee and had the box. Opened it up and there was the first time. And here's Wiley sprinting and that win tripped him up. Jermaine, time. First down, Boston. They're putting Wiley over there now, the running back. Jermaine looking that direction, coming back. Here's Boston, who was lined up there with him to the 33. A redshirt freshman. Wiley. You know damn well the other. Jay Brooks, second down and seven. Here's the draw with Keller and a fine play on the inside. Inside, handoff. Keller tried to surprise him. Nothing doing. Here's a 47-yarder, Bartholomew the holder. He's got some distance. Off the upright and no good. So they will play with four defensive backs, three linebackers, play fake Stewart. Stewart going to put it up on first down. Goes deep middle. Taylor, no, incomplete. And that means Nate Clemens, the freshman, is back in. And the fifth defensive back on second and ten. Stewart short drop fires middle. Got Spiller tight in. And he battles his way across the 45. Tough youngster. Took about three bucks. Toombs. Daylight. 45. Off Barry. And battling for a first down. Delayed blitz over Toombs. That's a lateral. And the Bucks jump it. Ohio State recovers the lateral. Jerry Rudzinski. Jermaine, play fake, overthrows Boston, and it'll be second down. Talking about the BCS. Second down and 10. Here's Wiley. Battling to the 45 on third and eight. Backs are split. And the down he goes in the arms of that win. side of his foot but takes a Buckeye bounce and goes out of bounds at the 16 first down and 10 for the Aggies you would think now on this drive they would need either a field goal or a touchdown to stay alive deflected second down and 10 of this Nokia Sugar Bowl Brandon Stewart in trouble steps out and he's able to hit Oliver Bumgarner Brinkley Taylor on first down, Aggies. Ohio State rushes four. Complete, and here's Taylor. To the 44-yard line. Stewart almost intercepted. Third down and two at the 640 mark. Aggies pass for it and is deflected off the blitz by Antoine Winfield, who steps into the passing lane. Fight that badly in the first half. He certainly has set a record in the Sugar Bowl for fair catches in one game. <laughs> yeah. Not even going to look at <laughs> Inside linebacker in college football. The run up the middle, and you know Dan is right there. And the story is one of the best ones of this or any other season in college football. A swing pass incomplete. Three wide receivers. The redshirt freshman still on the corner. Jermaine looks the other way. Fumble! And Ohio State pounced on the loose ball. Bartholomew standing inside the five. They're coming after him. And he's able to get it off. Taylor 
on a big Ohio State bounce just keeps backing up. And what a great job they turned in all season long with this crew. Here's Stewart back deep going long incomplete. Complete to Toons, the fullback, and they won't let him go. Third down and nine. Incomplete. The high school quarterback, he's done that, but not this time. Booms it out, and here is Boston going to let it bounce. This time, takes Texas A&M inbounds. And on the hop, Boston's got it. He'll hobble out of bounds. It'd make the Big Ten 5-0 and this bowl season. A stunning turnaround after last year's debacle. Jonathan Wells in a tailback. Keith Jackson, he will call his last game for us on Monday night. Keith, it won't be the same without you around here, partner. No question about that. Second down and four. Wells sprints out of bounds. Joe Germain taking his last snaps as the Ohio State quarterback. And Wells, Montgomery, and that tailback for Ohio State. Boy, there'll be a lot of talk about Big Ten teams. <laughs> Final minute 45, ticking away here on the Nokia Sugar Bowl. Second down and five now for the Bucks. They'll turn that stage over to two final games. All through the game, that's what they've done tonight. It helps when Andre Wadsworth is now living out there in Phoenix, too. <laughs> and Jerry back home with the family in Oregon. I know she enjoyed coming on over to the islands in Hawaii for the Jeep Aloha Bowl. Jonathan Wells will bring down the curtain, and there it is. Ohio State winds up 11 and 1. They will play in the kickoff classic next year against Miami. That win closes out one of the greatest college careers in the history of Texas A&M. 24-14, Ohio State. Happy New Year, everybody.